So my history with zebrafish screening is, is fairly nascent, actually. Um, we were doing a number of things in the lab that required us to quantify uh, cellular regeneration. And for that, uh, we needed ways to tell when cells were present, when they were absent. Uh, we had them fluorescently labeled. And we wanted a way to quantify that process that was non-subjective. The zebrafish work cells aided our research by allowing us to apply quantitative high-throughput screening techniques to our chemical screening assays and do so in a way that, you know, uh, allows the researcher to concentrate on the data analysis instead of the data process. And the main difference is rather than using the very popular high-content screening systems, which emphasize imaging of the fish, which by its very nature is relatively slow when put into the context of high-throughput screening, we use true high-throughput screening instrumentation. We get quantitative readouts uh, that again are non-subjective and rapid so that it allows us to move from numbers on the order of 500 to 2,000 fish a day upwards of 20,000 or in the most simplistic of assays, a, a single location assay, we can actually get up to 200,000 fish per day. Our future goals uh, for the zebrafish work cell involve um, immediate sort of screening needs. Uh, we have a number of assays, uh, again, particularly focused around cellular regeneration. Um, and we want to identify drugs that promote the regeneration of disease-relevant cell types. For instance, beta cells of the pancreas that produce insulin, photoreceptors of the eye with regard to several blinding diseases. Uh, to do so, we've taken an initial approach of, of a repurposing drug stream, uh, wherein we take the world's largest FDA pre-approved library in collaboration with Johns Hopkins University and apply that to the paradigms that we have. So the number of, of assays we can do with the system is legion. It's really only limited by the imagination of the researcher. Beyond just speed, I think one of the main advantages that the work cell, uh, the zebrafish work cell, gets us is really the ability to screen drugs directly in living disease models as the first step in the drug discovery process rather than the last step. I think one of the greatest benefits of, of what we're up to has the potential uh, to be applied toward would be the idea of making the drug discovery process and even the drug development process vastly more efficient. And that's what our hopes and dreams are for the system.